Welcome back to Primetime News. Special welcome to the folks watching on OneSpotMedia.com. A reminder as well that you can download our OneSpot Media app in the Google Play Store or the App Store. That's the number one followed by the word spot and media. The government is threatening to release the names of parliamentarians and other public representatives who owe taxes. Local Government Minister Desmond McKenzie issued a warning to this group during a property tax awareness and education tour in St. Elizabeth. TVJ's Herman Green has that story. According to the local government minister, the property tax sensitization tour was started in St. Elizabeth because the parish has one of the highest levels of non-compliance. As part of the awareness drive, which will be done across the island, Desmond McKenzie says he was given a list of delinquent property owners. There are a number of, of councillors, a number of MPs, a number of former mayors uh, who are in debt to the country with property taxes, I'll be writing to all the mayors of the municipalities and I'm going to be sending the mayors the list and we are going to make all the efforts first to ensure that we get in contact with these persons to ask them. And if that approach doesn't work? If they fail to do it, then the country will know who are those persons who are owing property taxes to the government. He listed St. Elizabeth, Trelawney and Manchester as priority parishes as they have the greatest number of delinquent property owners. But that's not the only reason for starting the tour there. He says St. Elizabeth needs the money to address challenges such as an all too frequent drought. This is one of the parishes that we intend to ramp up uh, the trucking of water. This is one of the parishes that we intend to put a number of the rapid response water trucks will be and which will be handed over to the local authorities in a couple of weeks' time. When we gain possession of those units, we're going to be concentrating a lot of them in St. Elizabeth, in the areas that are affected uh, severely by drought. Additionally, there are the outstanding electricity bills to the Jamaica Public Service Company and the garbage collection needs. He noted, however, that collections are looking positive so far this year. There is, I um, mean, uh, when you compare uh, to last to the last financial year this time, there is an improvement in the amount of, 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 of persons that have come forward to pay. Herman Green, TVJ News.